This is a video on the new Bear and Sons B200 trainer. This is part of their Bear Ops line. The design was a collaborative effort between Blade Runner Systems and Bear and Sons. For those of you who may not know, Blade Runner Systems is a newly formed company between myself and Lucifer74, better known as Lucy, in the flipping community. So we're really excited to see this project come to fruition. It should be released officially uh, September 15th and be available to the to the public. There were two main objectives when we were uh, working on this this project with with Baron Sons. We wanted to make a knife that had the flipping dimensions and characteristics and balance that would make for a solid performer, but at the same time make it affordable to the masses. So I'll quickly go over the features of the knife. As you can see, the handles are all G10. Some people have uh, some questions about how G10 performs on a body song. It's relatively a a new and a new material, a new method in body song construction. Uh, I think only the there are there are body songs that use all G10, but uh, not really any that are are dedicated to flipping. Uh, one concern is how strong it is, and I can tell you the slabs that they used here are pretty thick, so they are very rigid. When I first got this particular prototype, I, I realized right away it was um, a very solid construction. I think it, uh, it'll, it'll definitely be durable enough for daily flipping. The other concern is G10 is very light, so balance is uh, was uh, always kind of questionable with something that's just G10 without steel liners. As you can see, at the end here, the handles, they put the steel spacers to make sure that the knife had uh, adequate weight at the end of the handles for performance. Each spacer weighs about um, 0.3 ounces, which gives it a, a good amount of momentum for rollovers and other types of manipulation. As you can see, they bevel the edges here a little bit, so for helicopters and anything that you need to twist between your fingers, makes it a little bit easier. The pivots are uh, just standard standard hardware. It's, it's not a bushing driven system. In subsequent models, um, they do plan on using bushings. And they are adjustable, as you can see, by Torx screws. The blade is uh, 154CM. What's cool about this uh, trainer blade uh, is they kept the same profile as the live blade, which is nice because it's a closer replica of the actual uh, live volley song or any live volley song. Most trainers, uh, if you've seen them, they're just usually that paddle looking design. It's not very attractive. This keeps the same Bowie profile, which is really cool. And then of course they cut this out for the to balance out the weight. The tank pins used are also uh, 5.30 seconds, so they're uh, a little 5.30 second inch, just a little bit bigger, uh, which is which is nice. Over here you got the pocket clip. Uh, another cool nifty feature, they made the pocket clip able to be removed but also placed on any side of the bite or safe handle. I removed it just to keep the handling kind of neutral. As far as how it flips, it's a very unique handling knife. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with trainers particularly, but this performs um, very close to the live blades that, that I do have. I think it's going to be a great platform for people who are just getting into flipping. Um, if you guys are, are, are new to, to Bali songs, uh, you'll, you'll quickly realize if you're looking for a trainer, it's either something really cheap and not very well constructed, or something very expensive. Um, it's either, like I said, it's something that's 10 20 bucks made by maybe some something that's uh, not as well known, or it's a Benchmade uh, 40T, which is um, very expensive because it's discontinued, and it's kind of a collectible now. It's probably well over a couple hundred bucks, so most people don't want to put out that kind of cash just to just to try their hand at flipping or just to have a, a, a trainer at hand to maybe practice new moves. Um, this will hopefully be in the uh, $100 price range. And uh, bear in mind that there's a live version of this knife as well being released at the same time in the same, uh, roughly the same same price range. Uh, that's kind of a void in the Bali song market right now. There's just not a whole lot of mid, mid-range, entry-level price Bali songs. So the hope is that this will introduce 
more people who are potentially interested in flipping um, and you know get them on board to the flipping community and also just it's a, just a good alternative to have for people who are already into Bali Salon, just another one that they can add to their collection without without breaking the bank. Um, I'm really excited about it, uh, just in handling this prototype for the few days that I've had it. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun. I haven't handled the live version yet, but hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do that soon. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, definitely let me know, and I will certainly address them. So thanks for watching, and um, look out for some uh, some future projects. Take care.